Hi everybody, I'm Chris. Welcome to Board on the Floor. Today I just wanted to do a follow-up for my last video where I actually built uh, some custom storage trays for the minis of Solomon Kane. I had originally used um, foam board and some cardboard to do it. And over the last couple of days, I just spent a bit more time and uh, completed the entire set. So I actually had to build three. I just wanted to show you how everything is actually stored in the box itself. So I'm gonna take everything out. This is the arsenal box that comes with Solomon Kane. I think it's just the box that contains most of the stretch goals, though I know it's kind of mixed between the two boxes. Um, and I don't think this is how it would be stored once I put everything back in the boxes, but this is just how I have it for now as I've been playing the game. So inside the box here, these are all of the minis. The two larger boxes here, these actually still have trays in them. So if I actually take them out and just slide out the tray, you'll see what the original trays looked like. They were just molded plastic, like that. And so the boxes I wanna take a look at now are the ones that go around the edge. So the first one I ended up making a storage tray for was this one here. And this is still my prototype. I haven't changed it whatsoever. But now that I've been putting it in and out of the box, it has kind of loosened up a bit. So you can kind of see the minis jiggle a bit. If I try to put it sideways again, like I did in the other video, they would actually fall out. I ended up adding these corner pieces just to add a bit of protection from the top of the box. If for some reason it would be flipped upside down. Um, and it makes it easier to pull them in and out. But this was the first one. And then actually, I'm gonna push this over to the side here. This is the second tray I built, but the problem with this one was that the minis themselves are too big almost for this box. So I really had to keep refining how I made the tray. Cause when I first tried to make it, I made it standing up and they wouldn't fit. So I had to make it sideways. And what that meant was they needed a bit more of a brace. So if we take a look at it here, you can see that I replaced the foam board with some actual foam. It's a thick piece of foam I found at Michael's. And it actually adds a lot of tension. So with the, when the pieces slide in and out, it really holds them tight. So I didn't have to build that lip anymore. But for these ones, I did have to kind of put this little back brace thing so that if it was sideways and they were tipping a bit, it would kind of hold them in place. So that's how that one turned out. And for this one here, this was the one that actually had the two layers. Originally the tray had two layers so that the shadows were sitting on top or the shadows were sitting on the bottom. I don't really know how it was, but I had to try and fit them all in this one together. And I managed to figure out how to do it. And then I also made a little bit of a protection for the top of the death mini. And if I put these sideways, it actually holds it quite well. And then the two shadows will just slide in here. When I started using the black foam uh, for the tray, I would test it by picking up the whole tray by the mini to see if it was in there tight, and they're all pretty good. If not, I would just add a little kind of nub of black foam on the side to kind of tighten it up a bit. In the end, I'm very happy with how these turned out, but I just wanted to show you kind of like my final version. They're not anything amazing, but they serve their purpose of holding the minis in place so that if I move the box around, they don't kind of start hitting each other. And down the road, when I actually paint these, this will protect them from getting chips and stuff like that. I got a game from somebody and they had put all of their minis just into a Ziploc bag and had taken the trays out. And of course, when I got it, I decided I had to put those trays back in. I think I'm a little too precious with the minis where the idea of putting them just in a Ziploc bag and leaving them loose in the box is kind of like stressful for me. So that's why I wanted to build these types of trays. And if there's ever an insert that comes with a game, I would much rather keep the minis in there. One game I got, one or two games I got actually, that when I opened them up and the minis were just in a Ziploc bag, I felt like somehow I was cheated out of some protection for them. Stuff Fables was like that. There you go, just a little update on how all of the trays turned out. I am gonna go back to that first one and redo it with the black foam just because I think it's a lot more stable. And now that it's getting looser with those lips, it obviously wasn't a long-term solution to build it that way. The black foam does work better. And these lips, as much as I thought they would stay in place, I guess as the glue dries or as they move around a bit, they shift. But with the black foam, because there's a lot of give to it, you can make the, the cuts just a bit tighter, then the minis can slide in and out and the foam has enough resistance there to hold them in place. 
But this way with the lips, now that it's kind of settled a bit, it's loosened up, so it's not as tight of a fit as I would like. So I am going to go back and redo this one. So thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.